Hello dear friends, welcome back once again to our channel, Vagi Academy of Mathematics. Up to our last session, we have completed problems from number series. We have seen those number series problems itself as five parts. Part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we completed nearly 10 years question papers of UGC net paper 1. We completed almost all of those number series questions which were asked in those 10 years question papers. And after that, we are about to start a new topic here, which is alphanumeric series. If you remember, we have also completed alphanumeric series, the concepts we have seen. And also we worked out some few sample problems. And this is the time for us to start with solving the previous year's questions from alphanumeric series. And here is part one of this alphanumeric series. Yeah, let us start. We thoroughly know the basics. And also what I have done here is I have attached the number table also. I mean the alphabets and their corresponding numbers. The table is also ready here. Everything is ready with you now. And now we are going to start with the questions. We can directly get into the questions. So question number one with us. So this question is from 2009, December, UGC net paper one. And this is uh, alpha numeric series question. I will number it as question one. Yes. And yeah, I will just see the question. The question is, what will be the next term that will come in this series? This is our question. So as usual, what we will do is we will just take down the terms. What are all the terms we have? We will just take the terms, but let's take them in order one by one. I mean, one below the other, we will just take because it will be easy for us to take or understand the pattern for that convenience. We will just take the terms one below the other. Is that okay? So I'm going to take the terms one below the other. See how I'm writing the terms. So my first term is D, C, and then X, W. This is what I have. And my next term is F, E, V, U. See, I'm going to write that second term below here. Is that okay? I'm going to write like this. That is F, E, then V here, then U. I'm going to write like this because this will be easy for me to understand or observe the pattern. That's why. Yeah, next one more term we have. We have H, take it, G, then T, then S. So these are what we have. We are, we are, we are given three terms. And what next will come? That is what we have to find. As usual, we have practice questions from the samples in that introduction itself. When we are seeing that introduction in alphanumeric series itself, we have solved a few sample questions with the same logic. We are going to try these questions also. Fine, ready? Yeah, we will start. And always in these kind of questions, we'll have to try to get the pattern letter by letter. This is what we usually do. The same thing here also we are going to do, okay? Start with the first letter, D. So here I have the first term. The first letter is D for me. D to F they are going. Is it or not? Now come to the table here. We have the numbers along with the alphabets, right? Come to this table. I have D at the fourth position. So from D, they are moving to F. F is at the sixth position. So fourth to sixth. That means they are doing plus two. Is it or not? Because four to six is plus two. Yeah, continue. Next, they are doing F to H. So again, come to the table. F, which F is at the sixth position and H is at eighth position. So that means again, this is six to eight is again plus two. Very easy for us to understand. And that means what will be the next term which will be coming? So for the first letters they are doing plus two, plus two like this. This is what they are doing, right? So that means from H we need to do plus two once again. Shall we do this? Yeah, H plus two we will do. That is H is already at the eighth position. From there we need to do plus two. That means it will give us eight plus two, which is 10. 10 is corresponding to the letter J. So that means we will have the first letter to be J here. Note it. And I think this is more than enough for us to say what is the answer to this question. Is it or not? See our answer choices now. See clearly. 
we have options a b c d in that which among the four options is having j as the first letter see here option c is having j as the first letter okay so with this itself we can clearly confirm that our option is answer option c do you understand this yeah anyways anyways just for confirmation we will also try and also for practice we will also try to see the other terms also okay but in exam i would suggest this way just try to find one letter letter by letter you just proceed and get the pattern and then try to get the answer and what we have to do we have to go see the answer choices which one is going to match to the nearest that will be your answer finish that's it okay anyways let's continue and see just for practice and just for confirmation we will just continue and see take the second letters now second letters i have c e g like this fine so let's do the same thing here also c to e they are moving is it or not so come back to this table c is at third position e is at the fifth position that is 3 to 5 they are moving in the sense this is again plus 2 i am putting plus 2 here and next e to g they are moved e to g is 5 to 7 5 to 7 correct yeah 5 to 7 which is again 5 to 7 is once again this is plus 2 only so that means from g again we have to move plus 2 so see what happens when we do g plus 2 g is at seventh position plus 2 means we will get 9 7 plus 2 is 9 right so 9 will correspond to the letter i we are nearing the answer now is it or not see first letter we found j second one also we found it is i now we are very much clear and we are even more confident that our answer is definitely it has to be option c only so shall we mark the answer yeah we'll just mark the option c that is our answer okay yes yeah option c is here i'll just mark it c is our answer because in exam it is not necessary that we need to do all the things and only then we can get the answer it is not needed go try it piece by piece okay even if we proceed piece by piece it will help us to go reach the answer the nearest way and that will help us to get the answer more easier and even it will save our time very much right yeah fine so i think we can move on to the next question and the remaining things if you want to can sure get practice okay so i am not going to waste my time and we will go on go move on to the next question now yes second question now question number 2 is from 2010 december we have some kind of very different type of question here 2010 december so i will take it to be question number 2 and let's see what is given here in a certain code p a n is written as is written as 31 is it or not that's what is given there p a n is written as 31 then what next is given and also they have given one more then p a r is written as 35 this is given this also we will take it and they are asking simply then p a t will be written as what i think you can understand the question so in a certain coded way p a n is written as 31 p a r is given written as 35 they are given two examples and they are asking us to get the answer for p a t will be written as what number that's all this is the question fine so again we have some word or these letters are matched to some number so again we will take the help of our alphabets and numbers shall we yeah fine so let's come back to the letters here so what are all the letters we have for the first one we have the letters p a n is it or not let's do a thing let's take let's just take the corresponding letters and see what happens okay now see p p's position is actually 16th position is it or not yeah a is we know a is the first letter so a is first position and what about n n is taking 
14th position i am writing 14 okay so i have written the corresponding numbers here 16 1 14 so that means there is some relation between these numbers and this 31 so what can be the relation if we just think for a moment we can easily say right very simple if we just add these numbers we will get this 31 is it or not can you check it 16 plus 1 plus 14 it will be nothing but 31 only is it or not 16 plus 14 will be 30 Plus one, I will get thirty-one. So that's it. This is all here they have done. Fine, clear. So we will just verify it whether it is going to work out for the second one or not. Okay. So second one we have P A R. That means the same. P will be sixteen. Plus A will be one. Plus R will be at what position? R is at the eighteenth position. Now just check and see. Sixteen plus one plus eighteen. So sixteen plus one will be seventeen. Seventeen plus eighteen will be thirty-five. Here also it is verified. So that means they have simply taken the corresponding positions of those letters and added them. That added answer is what is they are asking. Very simple. Fine. So that means our question is find the code for P A T. That's all right. Make it simple. Sixteen P will be sixteen as usual. Plus A will be one plus T. now we have p a t right so we have t as the third letter so for t we will have 20 so go see the tables okay t we will have 20 and 16 plus 1 plus 20 will give us how much it will be nothing but 37 is it or not because i know 16 plus 1 is 17 17 plus 20 will be 37 that's all so that means my final answer is 37 and that is matching with option b option b is my correct answer that's all i think you are clear with this question also and one more thing i just want to give here itself so that you will not be confused it okay confused with this one see the numbers i have written here in the table see the numbers how it is given here see all the left hand side numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to this 13 and here also for n o p here The left hand side numbers are fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, up to twenty-six. These are all going to be the first cycle, okay? And what about the numbers which we have in the right hand side? Right hand side we are having A as twenty-seven, B as twenty-eight, and so on. This is the way it is going. Is it or not? Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. It is going like this. This we have to use when our calculation is going to exceed the Z value twenty-six. See here, up to Z it is twenty-six. A is one, B is two, C is three, and so on up to Z is twenty-six. And after our calculation, once our calculation is going to exceed that twenty-six, like twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, if it is going like that, then what we have to do? We need to form the cycle again, starting from A. That is the reason I have just included these numbers also. Okay. So when we are doing this basic calculation, please don't get confused with these left-hand side numbers and right-hand side numbers. and kindly remember this right hand side numbers will be involved only when we are facing a case where our counting or our calculation is exceeding 26 okay this also i have clearly insisted instructed in the fundamentals class itself but anyways here once again i'm just reminding you it fine so i think you are clear with the second question also we'll quickly move on to the third question question number 3 So third question this is from 2011 June we'll take this as question number 3 here let's see the question so given that uh, the letters in the first set have certain relationship and on the basis of this relationship make the choice for the second set so we have two sets here is it or not see this is set 1 and this is set 2 set 2 is actually incomplete they have raised a question mark that question mark we need to find do you understand so there is some relation between these numbers and these alphabets in set 1 if the same relationship applies to the set 2 also understand the question there is some relation between this alphabets this numbers and if the same relationship exists for applies for this set 2 also then what will come here this is the question fine so the way maybe they have expressed 
will make us to worry little but there's nothing to worry at all it's going to be very very easy only fine see no question will be that tough at all they will never give you any tedious any hard level questions at all it is just to test our basic sense only fine so there's nothing to worry no need to feel panic okay let's take it down k k by t they are given like this k by t is compared to 11 by 20 and our question is j by r is compared to what this is our question very simple see k's position is at k's position come to this table k's position is at 11 only is it or not it is directly they are matching and t's position is 20 that also we can see from the table itself see the right hand side you can make use of the table t's position is 20 here also they are directly matching so very simple they have taken the letters right the corresponding numbers only they have taken on the right hand side very very simple so that means for j by r what answer we should get again come to the table see the corresponding numbers j will correspond to what number j is at the 10th position is it or not yeah j is 10th position so 10 by what about r r is at the 18th position so 10 by 18 so which is going to match with option b and that is our correct answer fine very simple right yeah so last one more question we have question number 4 we'll quickly finish this question also again this question appears to be little different little strange it is right again please there's nothing to worry at times rarely we'll be getting questions like this also so in that case it doesn't mean that we need to get worry it's going to be again very easy only let's see the approach how can we solve this this is question number 4 asked from 2010 december ugc net paper 1 yeah we can start now so if if 5 4 7 2 is compared with 9 is equal to 9 so that means this is equal to this 9 and other few examples also they have given 6 3 4 2 is compared to or this is equal to 6 i'm just using an arrow mark okay whatever equal to or arrow whatever then 7 5 8 4 is compared to again 6 then our question is what is our question then what is the value of 9 2 3 6 this is our question so we have three examples given if 5 4 7 2 is equal to 9 if 6 3 4 2 equal to 6 and 7 5 8 4 equal to 6 then in the same way 9 2 3 6 will be equal to what number this is our question but how are they relating so how are they matching 5472 is 9 6342 is 6 likewise they are relating right they are equating right how these calculations they would have done yeah let us guess okay so whenever this kind of things come go for your basic calculations basic calculations means we will first of all go try with addition only is it or not let's try with addition itself okay i have got this number 5472 we will do a thing we will just add these digits itself 5 plus 4 plus 7 plus 2 what will be the answer 5 plus 4 plus 7 7 plus 2 what will be the answer so this would give you 5 plus 4 is 9 9 plus 7 is 16 and 16 plus 2 is 18 i am getting 18 correct i'll put a line here so that uh, this corresponds to this operation remember i'm just doing the addition here 5 plus 4 plus 7 plus 2 step by step i did i got 18 okay so that means this 18 they are relating to 9 this is the meaning then how this 18 can be related to 9 let's again do one more thing i added 5 4 7 2 right and what we got we got 18 now once again add this digits of 18 i mean add this 1 plus 8 itself i think you are able to understand initially we had 5472 we added all the four digits we got 
Now, once again, add the digits of that 18. I mean, add this 1 plus 8 itself. What we get? We get 9. That's it, right? Fine. We will just try to check whether the same logic applies to the other examples also. Shall we test it? Yeah, fine. So now, second example, we have 6, 3, 4, 2. We will add these numbers also. What comes if we add these numbers? 6 plus 3 plus 4 plus 2. Do it step by step. 6 plus 3 will be 9. 9 plus 4 will be 13. And 13 plus 2 will be 15. Is it or not? Yeah, 15. So we are getting a two-digit number, 15. What we did previously, the same thing. Again, add the digits of this number, 1 plus 5. 1 plus 5 will give us 6. Again, it is working out. See here, first one, I got the answer, 9. That same 9 is what we have on the right-hand side. Second time, for the second example, we got 6. The same 6 is what here also we have. Is it or not? Let's see here what happens. Okay. Just to check it, we are just verifying it. Okay. So here I have 7, 5, 8, 4. So we'll do the same thing. We'll add the numbers. So once we do it, we'll be getting 7 plus 5 will be 12. 12 plus 8 will be 20. 20 plus 4 will be 24. And that means we still have to add 2 plus 4. We will get 2 plus 4 as 6. Again, success. That means this is what they are actually doing. So they are adding the digits, adding the digits, and finally making them a single digit number. This is what actually they are doing here. So that means here also what we need to do, we have to undergo the same calculation. Simple, right? Shall we try this? Yeah. So we have our question for the number 9236. Let's do the same thing. We'll add 9 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6. Okay. Step by step, do the calculation. Please don't follow a hurry berry. Okay. Don't be in a hurry, hurry berry. If we go in a hurry berry mode, it will spoil the problem only. And we may end up with some wrong answer. That's why. Okay. Yeah. 9 plus 2 will be 11. 11 plus 3 will be, what is 11 plus 3? 11 plus 3 will be 14. 14 plus 6 will give us 20. Is it or not? It is giving us 20, but once again, we got 20 to 0. That means we have to once again add this 2 plus 0, which will finally give us 2. So that means this 9, 2, 3, 6, we can equate to what will be the right hand side? We will have 2 as our final answer. That's it. So 2 is matching with which option? Option A. Option A is 2. That's it. Fine. So we have successfully completed four questions in our session. I think you are clear with all the four questions. The first one is a alphanumeric question. Yeah, we followed with this, this table. We did with letter by letter. We are able to get the answer very easily. And second one is by addition of corresponding numbers, we got the answer. Third one, it's even more easy. We directly just compared the letters with the numbers and then we got the answer. And fourth one, this is quite strange for us. But even then, it's going to be very easy when we see it elaborately. So we just added the digits and then made it as a single digit number. And that helped us to get the answer. Finally, the answer was two. That's it. So this session, we solved four problems. And again, as a continuation of this session, part two, alpha numeric series part two, will again take another set of problems and work those questions. Fine. See you soon there. Thank you so much. Bye.